Matty Moss, so here we are, mate. I can, I can. Well, I actually, I probably can't imagine what a dream come true this must be for you. But you know what? Today I was thinking back, 2007. You got a ride with Craig Dack as an 18-year-old, 17 going on 18-year-old, on your first uh, 450 ride with the CDA Yamaha team. You won your opening race in the class, you know, as an 18-year-old in Toowoomba. So it's only taken about what uh, you know, five years. But here you are, mate, with the the big crown, the championship. How's it feel? Has it sunk in yet? Uh, I don't think it has sunk in yet, but you know, uh, we've been working towards it all year, and you know, it's it doesn't feel like the work's over, but it finally is, and you know, it, it's it's so unreal, and well, I've just been lucky, you know, I've had the best team behind me, the Moto Pirelli Suzuki guys, and the best bike out there, I feel, and uh, you know, it's sort of, you know, it's started off a bit rough, and you know, a couple of fifth places, but grew with confidence, grew with the team, and uh, we we just went out hard. Let's talk about that a little bit. I think, uh, you know, early, I think getting the, the fork set up, I know you guys worked a lot on that with that new SFF fork this year. Uh, I think Jay said that really by about the fourth round, round when you, you know, you got that sorted, you got your confidence up, and then basically you just didn't look back from there. Yeah, we were going the wrong way. We kept wanting to go harder and harder, and we actually needed to go softer. But, um, you know, once we sorted that out, we, we I've kept the same forks after them first three rounds. Um, you know, just to click here, click there, move them up, move them down. But I've had them sand, hard pack, whatever. But uh, the bike's been unreal. Um, as you can tell, I think we got 80, 90% of the whole shots this year and uh, met between me and Coops. And, and even, like, a couple of my mates that race, I'm not going to mention names, they're like, I wish I had that bike, you know, that speed of that bike. And, uh, you know, it's been... it's. That's made our job a lot easier, but uh, you know, all in all, it's uh, I had to work on my fitness and and get stronger and build and build and you know hope that s something sort of went wrong with Todd and and that I could capitalise on it and that's exactly what happened. Well, I think between yourself and Coops, you're five or six po uh, win round wins this year, which is pretty solid for Suzuki. First championship win in the Premier class since Daryl Hurley in uh, back in 2005, and uh, obviously what with Ando Rido and then Daka locking it, locking it up since, but. Um, you know, sort of take us through, there's, you know, there's been a real rival where he developed, I think maybe a healthy one, occasionally you got a little bit feisty, maybe passionate between yourself and, and Todd, you know, you guys did come together a few times throughout the year, had words, but didn't seem to carry on off the track too much? No, we, we've, we've always kept it on the track, it's just, you know, we're both fighting for the, the, uh, the one thing and that's that number one plate and, you know, it's, it sort of sucks, it's not a, you know, there's no... You know, second place, it just doesn't cut it. You know, you know you're either first or you, it's sort of irrelevant, you know. If I come second day, I wouldn't be happy. I'll go home and uh, no one ever remembers second. So, you know, we, we fought for it and we had a couple of battles and we had some heated arguments, but uh, we kept it pretty, pretty cruisy. And, uh, you know, I think it was just... I think he could s s see that it's sort of dwindling a little bit and me sort of get my confidence. And, you know, that has a big part uh, when, so when someone sort of think someone's going to beat him you know it's it it heats him up a little bit more and uh you know it's good but he he, start, he you know he had his injuries and you know um we both rode really good um i wish we could both get a number one plate but we can't but uh you know i'm happy with it and i'm sure he is too he's off to europe and uh i wish him all the best i spoke to your old man greg a little bit earlier and i'm sure he's uh, one proud man at the moment but he goes he was uh, speaking quite passionately himself about how you moved on to the 450 class back that year in 07. It was premature and he thought it wasn't the right thing to do and he said pretty much you've been riding injured ever since. So, I mean, obviously everybody at this level of sport, they ride with injuries, they deal with injuries or at least niggling injuries. But, you know, you haven't had a perfect run. But uh, this season, really, um, you know, once you got in your in your stride, it was uh, it's about as good as it gets. Yeah, you know, I think I've had two crashes this whole year, just little washouts and, and, and even off training I think I had one or two crashes and they were just little crashes um, you know the year's just been great for me uh, I think I developed my head you know with, with working with Jay Foreman um, Dan Reardon and my dad and my girlfriend and just being happy you know you know when your head's in the game everything seems to click and this year it just did off the bike on the bike training um, you know very little mistakes and just great people behind me and talk about Dan Reardon a bit. I think he's been a sort of uh, played a pretty major part for both yourself and uh, your brother Jake. Oh, definitely. That guy is unbelievable. Um, off the bike, you know, he's just he's real calm and collective. You know, he just he comes and talks to me. Um, he doesn't rush me. He just he just talks to me like you know. I think like he'd want to be talked to if he was going for a championship, and and it helps you know having that that guy that that's been there and done that. You know, you, I think it's back in 2010 or. 2009, that guy was dominant. And, and seven, no seven, mate. 2007, time flies. But yeah. you know, he was the guy. You know, he dominated that good. And and you know, when you 
can look back and go, all right, well, this guy's telling me this. He, he, he knows he's been there. It's so easy to, to take in, and uh, yeah, he's been a big part. You know, I know I don't get to train with him every single day, but, uh, you know, he sends me my programs every week, every day, actually, and uh, rings me, I talk to him, and uh, we get it done. Let's talk quickly about today. Uh, you came in here, I think, with 25 points lead over Todd. Uh, that changed by point or something like that after the Super Bowl. Had a great ding dong with Billy McKenzie in that first one, got the win. But uh, in the second one, you know, I think I heard you saying a little bit earlier, riding around at 80%. You almost had more moments riding at 80% than you did when you're, you're flat out. You know, take us through. Did uh, was that the longest race of your life? It was. Uh, the first race was really good. I was happy with that. Get the win. That sort of cemented my championship. You know, I knew I only actually had to finish 75% of the race. I still won the championship. Got two hole shots today. The last motor hole shot. And I, I felt pretty good. And Billy McKenzie sort of went flying past me. And I was like, you know what? I'll do the same as I did the first, mate. I'll hook onto him and, and sort of wait for him to get a bit tired and then I'll, I'll pounce. And then Todd caught me and it was just one of those things I just told myself, you know what, <laughs> don't wear your clutch yet, don't wear your motor out, let's just win this championship. You know, winning a day would have been sweet, but uh, winning championships way better. And, uh, you know, Todd rode really good today, uh, the last race, he close to lapping me, but... Uh, you know, I had some moments riding at 75%, 80%. It's just them bumps are a lot bigger. Um, the sand seems to grab you a lot more when you're going slower. So, uh, you know, I had me moments, but, uh, you know, stayed, stayed, stayed smooth enough to get away with a win. And how special is it to do it with Suzuki, I think? Because I've got memories of uh, you and Jake. I remember sh shooting a how-to with you guys going through a berm, and you were, I think before your voices were broken, you're like, no, you go first, no, you go first. You know, when you guys were on, on 65s, you know, you've gone there, you've raced a lot with them. Yeah, you spent some time with KDM and, and Yami over the years, etc. But, you know, to come back to um, after your time in America, after your time with KDM, to come back to Suzuki and to win it, um, sounds like it's a bit of, you know, something a little bit extra special for you. Oh, it is. Um, Jay Foreman and me, we, we have a bond that, you know, it's hard to explain. We just, we get along and he, he he can look at me riding and say, you need to do this and, you know, and, and we need to do this to your bike and, and I have that much trust in him and I go out there and the bike's better. And it's something that people chase with a team. We just have this chemistry that, you know, teams can't match and I think that's why, you know, I want to stay with Suzuki next year. Nothing's, nothing's done as yet, but... Uh, you know, my, my plan is just to be with those guys next year and uh, get this championship like we've been doing and just keep going the way we're going. Just form my mechanic, he's great. And the whole family's just so nice and uh, it's it's good to be on that team, that's for sure. A little bit earlier, uh, what do you say to you after the uh, after the win today? He's, uh, he's usually pretty emotional at the best of times. He is normally really emotional, but he he, he knows that I've, I've switched my head on and he knows I know what I'm doing. And he come up to me today three times and said, good race and good luck and you know I was sort of like whoa you're not telling me what to do which he normally would and which helps but he knew I had my game face on and he knew I knew I was going to get the job done and and it's it's good to see him taking a sort of seat back a little bit and, and trusting me and and you know we've worked so good our whole lives together and it's uh today was one of those things where I, I you know got I got so much respect for my dad, and today he, you know, he had that much respect for me and, and trusted me. So I was, I was very happy with that. It's moving on to Supercross. I don't want to get too far. You got a bit of celebrating tonight to do first, mate. But uh, you know, looking back, 08, you won the the lights championship, the motocross. You won motocross and Supercross lights championship with Suzuki again in 09. Uh, how sweet would it be to do the double with Suzuki again here in 2013? Oh, it would be great. Um, I've got an awesome track at. Jeff McCleary, who's a buddy of mine, and we've been we've done done a little bit of riding. Uh, the bike's awesome, and it would be good. Um, but you know, we, we, Supercross, I like Supercross better than Motocross. I think I'm better at Supercross, but everyone's going to come out swinging. I think Jay Marmont's going to be the man to beat. I think he's uh, got a point to prove this year, and you know, it's I think he's had some problems this year, and I, I really think he's going to try and come out and dominate. And I f feel that he's going to be my main rival as long as me brother you know he's going to come ride with me so he'll be hard to beat but uh you know i'm looking forward to the challenges i really think it's going to be t between me and jay marmon and i uh, can't wait mate the sun's about to go down on probably uh what you remember as one of the most special days of racing in your life we're sitting on what some loam some coolum loam which pretty much looks like sort of chocolate cake mix doesn't it you reckon you might bottle a little bit of that stuff take it home yeah i, I actually I'm, I'm, i love the track i'm not a fan of a sand rider and i wasn't looking forward to coming to this for the last round but uh you know, I always seem to get the job done here in Coolum. I, it's, I should like the track, but uh, I do like the track, but I should. I'm, I'm not much of a sand rider, so I'm pretty happy with today. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, you did it right today, mate. Congratulations. It's awesome being watching you, uh, watching you do do the uh, do the business this season, mate. And uh, good luck for the Supercross ahead. Thank you.